That was Will Wheaton. He's really excited about tomorrow. As am I. If you'd have told me as a child that an actor from Star Trek would be officiating my wedding, I would have said, ooh, William Shatner. <laughs> and if you'd have said, no, Will Wheaton, I'd have said, what, did you even try William Shatner? <laughs> and if you just said yes, but he cost too much money, I'd have said, oh, well, Will Wheaton's good too. Why do you keep tying and untying that bow tie? I can't seem to get it even. Well, I don't think it's supposed to be even. Sometimes a little asymmetry looks good. In the Renaissance, they called it sprezzatura. The Renaissance? Amy, you know I'm more of an enlightenment person. <laughs> At some point, we have to decide how we want to raise the children. So, are you feeling okay? No wedding jitters? No. There is nothing in the world that would stop me from marrying you tomorrow. Even me from the future, coming back to prevent the wedding and the subsequent birth of a child who will destroy humanity. Because if you came from the future, that would mean you already went through with the wedding because you believe that time travel is on a closed loop. I love you so damn much. <laughs> Mr. Fowler, are you okay back there? Do you need more air? He's fine. <laughs> I'm surprised Amy didn't pick us up. Oh, well, you know, she's pretty busy the day before her wedding. Too busy for her mother? She used to be such a devoted daughter. Now she's just waiting for me to die so she can get my china. Thank you again for picking us up. <laughs> oh, my pleasure, Mrs. Cooper. You know, our driver to the airport was also an Indian fella. <laughs> Mom? Oh, so now it's racist to notice when somebody's Indian. I don't think it's racist. I noticed you were both white. <laughs> See? You have to excuse her. She's just pregnant and hormonal. Oh, uh, yeah. Congratulations on baby number two. Yeah. Whoopee. Her husband would be here, but he stayed home to watch their older son, so <laughs> everything's fine. Stop it. We're separated. You don't say. So, you're Sheldon's big brother. Uh, yeah, he got the brains. I got the bod. <laughs> and the face and the hair. I like your accent. Sheldon, did you used to sound like that? Can you still? I can. I will not. <laughs> Amy, you said something about my bow tie that I can't stop thinking about. Don't you mean, y'all said something about my bow tie? <laughs> Go on, say it. <laughs> say it. <laughs> Hey, guys, look who I have. Hey, oh, guys. Yeah. Hey, Shelly. I'm so glad you made it, Missy. This is my fiance, Amy. Amy, this is my sister. If I ever need a kidney, this is where you get it. It's so nice to meet you. Aww. I've always wanted a sister. Really? Why? I love you too, Sheldon. Really? Why? <laughs> Where's Mom? Uh, she wanted to stop by the hotel and freshen up and then call her pastor to pray for Missy's soul. Oh, my God. <laughs> There's Mama's girl. Hi, Mom. Oh, oh, Larry, look at her. Can you believe our little lamb is finally getting married? He can't believe it. <laughs> and neither can I. <laughs> oh. Hi, Dad, how you doing? Hi. 